still with my bros. Ay, ay, ay. I really don't know what the future holds. I just hope it's plenty money, guys and hoes. I can't wait to share a legend with my bros. Doing what it do, guess we see I go. Where I'll be tomorrow, I don't really know. Hope we celebrate and put in up a dose. If we make it, nigga, we can do the most. Ay, doing what it do, guess we see I. Send my prayers to the Lord and step my foot out. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm your host, Tony Bahama, and this is Caribbean Basketball Report Season 2, Episode 3. Today on the Caribbean Basketball Report, we take you around the Caribbean, bringing you news, notes, insights, and insider news on all the happenings from around the Caribbean and Caribbean basketball specific. But if you have not as of yet, please like, share, and subscribe to this AB2C Broadcasting and to the Caribbean Basketball Report. If you want to purchase some of your merchandise from our platform, the link will be in the description and some of the proceeds will go towards those affected in the Lesser Antilles via the volcanic eruptions. Stay tuned for this. Caribbean Basketball Report. Firstly, in international basketball, in professional basketball, in the newly formed BAL League or Basketball Africa League initiative, currently taking place in Kigali, Rwanda, from the U.S. Virgin Islands, guard and former University of Florida starter and contributor Walter Hodge, who hails from the U.S. Virgin Islands, did win the MVP or Most Valuable Player for his Zamalek team out of Egypt, competing and winning the championship of the first Ball Africa League. Hodge was impressive on his play as usual and is a member of the U.S. Virgin Islands national team. Also competing at a championship level is Seven foot center for the Phoenix Suns, one of the top teams in the regular season in the National Basketball Association. He also was impressive at averages of a double double consistently around 20 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, at least for his Phoenix Suns team. The Phoenix Suns are currently in a dogfight at a t- tied 2 2 in the series. In the first round of the playoffs against the mighty Los Angeles Lakers, Aiden looks to continue his stellar play and hopefully lead his Phoenix Suns team to the second round and beyond. Also from the Caribbean and also competing at the professional level is 6'9 forward Michael Bonaparte competing for in the Super League of Dublin and Ireland. On last year, Michael Bonaparte was the league's leading rebounder and leading scorer as he with averages of close to 25 per game and at least 12 rebounds per game did lead his club to a professional and competitive season on last year. Bonaparte hails from the island nation of Grenada. Sticking with professional basketball internationally, but headed to the women's side, is McDonald's All-American selection, former that is, and 5'9 combo guard hailing from the Bahamas, is LaShawn Higgs. Higgs, the University of Texas product and graduate, has recently took her talents to the Bambibre team in Spain in one of the top divisions and top leagues there on this past year Higgs was the team's leading scorer and one of their top rebounders with averages of right next to 16 per game and five rebounds per game LaShawn Higgs is definitely one of the top international prospects in international and Spanish basketball based on her averages from this past season or the Spanish Youth League at the tender age of only 18. Montero looks to continue his stellar play and will definitely be hearing from upper level and top talented 
clubs looking to garner his talents. Sticking with the youth, recently in the NBA Academy taking place in Mexico from the Bahamas, the recent C.I. Gibson athlete Frederick King was a force to reckon with on in and on the post for his NBA Academy Latin America team. Whilst representation for the Caribbean or Caribbean basketball team can be fielded, Please reach out to us for contacts and information on helping to make that happen. However, Frederick King, completing for Latin America, did provide consistent performances near and next to the basket with averages of close to a double-double each game. Frederick King is also a prospect in the future as one of the top in his class, one of the top in hailing from the tiny island nation of the Bahamas. From Antigua, six foot eleven forward Jabari Williams, hailing all the way from Antigua and has recently signed a full ride scholarship to National Junior College, typical powerhouse in the program of Garden City Community College. The Brockbusters will be pleased to have the talents of six foot eleven wide big man. Just to let you know, in the wake of volcanic eruptions in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, islands in the Lesser Antilles, we here at the Caribbean Basketball Report and AB2C Broadcasting will donate a, por a portion of all proceeds from merchandise, t-shirts, um, basketball yearbooks, and our Caribbean yearbooks to uh, contacts on our individuals down there in the Lesser Antilles for individuals that have been affected by the volcanic ash and evacuation. If you at any point in time, rather, would like to donate to those causes, please see the links in the bio and or our description and we will send those on to our contacts there. That's about all the time we have for today. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for those that have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not already, please, Click the link in the bio, click the link in our description to purchase your copy of the Bahamian Basketball Yearbooks Legacy Editions Forward and Pre-Order the upcoming edition. Also, if you want to represent your country basketball-wise, please link in the description where you can purchase a copy of the Caribbean Legends Collection. A percentage of those proceeds will go towards assisting Caribbean sporting and aid initiatives in the Caribbean. So, my name is Tony Bahama. Thank you for tuning in to the Caribbean Basketball Report. Until next time. Time at a time, ain't watching no one else think it was mine gon' be mine Boy, I started at the bottom, so I climb and I climb I got focus on the motors, dollar sign at the sign Nigga, trust me, we gon' make it, I can see it in the making I've been putting in that whistle, so you'll see me on vacation